Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and welcome back to RimWorld and the tale of what now is our four survivors because last time out we got joined by Beryl, although I suppose we are as Cunic and Colonel I used to call the survivors because they survived crashing down onto the planet from a spaceship. Beryl? Beryl might have already been here. Beryl might have lived here all her life for all I know. So now I think we need to refer to them as colonists rather than survivors because they are building a little colony here. You know, albeit very small and slightly inefficient and a bit ramshackle, but a colony nonetheless. And they're doing okay, I think. So yeah, it's a tale of our four colonists, not survivors, and of course the two Muffalo and Michael the dog, the star of the show, Michael the dog. And my goodness, we have a few things to get through today. Last time out, Beryl joined us, which was the big thing really. Beryl joined us, we've got an extra person on board, an extra pair of hands to help us do all sorts of stuff, which is brilliant. And Beryl immediately came in and just started getting on with stuff. She came in, started doing some cooking, she's now doing some stoneworking, and she's getting on with everybody. It's not like she's come in and is just sort of, you know, being an absolute pain in the bum and is being annoying and irritating and make everyone angry. She's sort of fitting right in. If we go and look at this in social, look, she's um friends with Colonel, friends with Kunig, and an acquaintance with Wee Hours. So, you know, that may be just because they've not bumped into each other very much yet. But I mean, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. We don't need to worry too much. I think she's just going to be absolutely lovely and just get on with things, which is great. The other big news from last time out was that we have a cold snap. And the cold snap has come very early in the middle of, well, I mean, I would say autumn, but autumn slash fall. And it's killed all our plants. It came in and it's killed them all because outside is currently minus eight degrees. And that's fairly warm compared to what it has been recently in this game. So, um, yeah, it's killed all our plants, which is bad because I was hoping to get this entire field of potatoes done. A massive field of potatoes. And they would have so many potatoes to eat. We could have made so many simple meals, which you know is not brilliant because a simple meal is not particularly great, but it's better than no food at all. We could have had so many simple meals, stacks of them. We could have had all sorts of things. I mean, yeah, it would have been boiled potatoes. And then, you know, maybe for breakfast, boiled potatoes. And then maybe for lunch, boiled potatoes. And, and then for supper, I don't know, maybe boiled potatoes? I'm, who knows? Who knows? Maybe for supper they just decide to go, <laughs> I don't know, suck on a dead lynx or something. I don't know. Just go start picking at the bones of this dead turkey just to see if there's something a little bit like there wasn't a potato. But unfortunately, no, we don't have all the potatoes from here. We do have 56 potatoes and they're nice and frozen in our freezer room, but that's all we've got. So we might have a bit of a problem with food because it's only the 9th of September, which sounds very odd saying that. So we've still got ourselves the rest of this cold snap and then sort of the, the fall slash autumn. And then we've got 15 days of winter as well. So we need to go and get some food. However, the problem is that the cold snap is still here. It's still cold outside. Now, there's a few things that we need to do. And number one, we're going to address this right the heck now. And thank you to whoever pointed this out. But I've been wondering... When we send Colonel out to go and do hunting, I, a uh, Colonel, Kunik, sorry. When we send Kunik out to go and do hunting, I've been thinking, Kunik's a bit slow. Come on, Kunik, get on with it. Let's get on with it. Let's, let's speed things along. Go and do the hunting, if you'd be so kind. And then somebody in the comments said, for goodness sake, give Kunik a wooden leg, would you? Give her a peg leg, because she's struggling. She's hopping about the place, trying to hunt as best she can. And yeah, she's having a tough time of it. And I thought, what? What? What do you mean she's only got one leg? But no, if you go here and go to health, her right leg has been destroyed. Kunik's right leg is not there anymore. So Kunik only has one leg, <laughs> which, I mean, you wouldn't guess it from looking at these little pictures from the little sort of uh, character models here. You don't really get a sort of idea. They don't really have legs. Well, they don't, not that they're really, they don't have legs or arms. They just have a body and a head. So you don't really get the picture of it. But yes, Kunik <laughs> has no right leg at all. So I've been asking someone with one leg to go round and hunt things, which is possibly why maybe her aim is a little bit off. I don't know. And, you know, maybe that's why she's a bit slow because <laughs> she's just got to hop everywhere. Now, maybe, maybe if she's got the sniper rifle, she uses that as a sort of, you know, like a sort of a crutch type thing, a makeshift crutch. She walks along on that. I don't know. I do not know. But whatever the case, we need to sort that out. So apparently we can do that by putting her in a hospital bed. Now, the only thing is, it says there, um, rest until, yeah, rest until healed, not injured. Now, the person did say, yeah, just send her to a hospital bed and then get somebody else to treat them. However, that's not going to work, is it? We hours, what can you do over here? You can't do anything there either. I'm not entirely sure how we fashion a wooden leg. Maybe we need to make the wooden leg first 
and then kind of equip it to Kunig. Um, right, hang on. Is there some sort of woodworking table or something? There's a sculptor's table, which I think that's... That is it. No, that's a stone cutter table. Maybe a sculptor's table is different in some way. So we've got ourselves a workbench equipped for artistic sculpting. Now, is artistic sculpting making a wooden leg? I do not know. Butcher table we've got, tailor bench we've got. Oh, the electric tailor bench. Why don't we get rid of this tailor bench? Just get rid of that entirely and put down the electric one. It can't use that much stuff. A workbench with a sewing machine for rapid tailoring of clothes could work without electricity at 50% of normal speed. Oh, that could be quite useful, couldn't it? Oh, that could be very useful. Um, so yeah, so um, yeah, yeah. Do we do? Is there anything around here that means that we could get a wooden leg though? Oh, that's very lovely. We can make some clothes, but can we make a wooden leg? I'm not entirely sure. A nutrient paste dispenser, a machine that synthesizes edible nutrient paste from organic feedstocks placed in adjacent hoppers. It consumes less ingredients and time than any other meal production method, but nobody likes eating nutrient paste. <laughs> Except raw food, but not rough plant matter like hay. Do you know what? It'll do in a pinch, but let's not put it down right now. Oh, and there's the hoppers that go with it. Okay, that's probably quite a complicated thing to build, and it might involve going outside and we can't really go outside right now. So, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we can use to make a wooden leg. We could, we could try putting down a sculptor table. Let's get rid of this. Let's deconstruct that to start. We'll get rid of that. Let's move time on nice and slow. So you can come and deconstruct this, and we'll replace this with a nicer bench, an electric one, which is fine. That's good. So, that's one thing we've got to do. So we've got to we've got to get we've got to get Kunig sorted with a makeshift leg because I can't believe I didn't even notice. So thank you again to whoever pointed that out. That's very kind of you. Well done. <laughs> Good spot. Um, another thing, somebody said in here. Oh, hang on a minute. Pause. 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 Animal disease. Flu. One of your animals has gotten sick from flu. Make sure they get proper treatment and rest as much as possible. The following animals have got sick. Abrexus. Oh no. Abrexus is. Poorly. Okay, well, this is linked to what I was going to talk about just then, which is a bit strange. So, somebody said, in terms of handle, that's to do with animals, isn't it? Tame, train, harvest resources from and slaughter animals. Um, somebody said you should have that as a two. So, maybe just make that a two down there. And that means that they'll do some doctoring first, and then they will go and do some handling. Now, maybe that means that they will go and deal with the animal? I don't know. I'm not really sure. How do we deal with how do we deal with an ill animal? Um, we hours. Do you care for the muffalo? I don't know. Let's put that put the wood down. Go on, we hours. Put the wood down because you're our resident doc, right? Okay. And now you can you treat? Can I train a Brexus? Um, and you're not allowed outside. You know, <laughs> I see. It's allowed the outside sort of. Uh, it's outside of the allowed area that we've set. So we can't go and actually do anything with a Brexus. I mean, will that just go away? I mean, it's just a bit of the flu. It's fine, isn't it? It's absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about that too much. I don't think we need to worry about that at all. It, it'll just, I'm sure it'll all go away. It's fine. Where's our other one? Oh, you're up there as well. Sasquatch is also fine. Food is okay currently for them, but they are lacking a little bit of the food in there. Michael the dog has got a little bit of food. Okay, so we've set the animals thing to two. Now, another person has said maybe a vent to go into the little sort of muffalo room. I entirely agree. And then another person has pointed out that the heater, yes, it's trying to do its best. Currently, it's 19 degrees C indoors. But maybe we could do with another heater, maybe at the other end of the room, to help out a little bit. So if we heat this main area just here, maybe it can then, you know, it'll, it'll help heat all the other rooms via the vents. So uh, yeah, this room here is a bit cold. This room here is 15 degrees C. That room there is 19. That's 18. That's 19. I'm tempted to build a heater all the way down here and then just sort of channel it through down here. Oh, also, I know what we're going to do. We're going to sort the beds out, weren't we? Uh, okay, not a medical bed. Not a medical bed. This bed here, this bed is going to be uh, reinstalled in here somewhere. So let's swivel that around and put that there. That can go into here. That can be a medical bed. Lovely, lovely. And this bed can belong to Colonel. So Colonel, you've actually got your own bedroom that's not out here, <laughs> stuck out in the middle of nowhere. It's actually quite nice. So there we go, I wanted to do that as well. So uh, that's that's another thing done. That's another little job done that we needed to get done. Um, oh, look. Oh, they're just wandering past. 
They're just wandering past. Is there any chance that we could quite easily go and kill these things? Because that would be great if we could go and kill them. Right, Beryl is idle. Beryl, are you able to go and do anything here? Prioritise tending to a Brexus. Yeah, can you tend to a Brexus? Reserved by wee hours. Why is that reserved by wee hours? Uh, no, go and do that. You're going to be fine at doing that, if you can get out. I don't know how. Oh, so you're going to take one of the little sort of the herbal medicine packs. Okay, that's good. Colonel is moving the entire bed <laughs> all at once, including the mattress and the pillow. Well done, Colonel. Good job. Oh, Colonel is going to go and do some research. Oh, that's very exciting. Cunic tucking into one of the fine meals. We're going to run out of fine meal ingredients. We have run out of fine meal ingredients. Okay, fine. We'll have to keep that in mind. Now, Beryl... I assume Beryl is not restricted to the indoor area. Oh no, but we can go just here. Of course we can. We can go just there because that counts as inside our area. Even though we have to go outside of our allowed area to get back into this area. That's fine. Okay, good. Right. Um, let's get ourselves uh, in terms of temperature. Let's get a vent then. Let's pop a little vent just there. Just to see if the muffalo do want to get a bit warmer. And let's get a heater so 50 steel and one component. I'm tempted to put a couple of heaters round. I'm tempted to put one kind of over here, maybe, into this room. Because that room is 14 degrees C. So in there it's 16, in here it's 15 and 14. It's struggling a bit. So let's put one into here, and it will connect to that wire. And then I'm going to put another one up here. And this will not be powered. So we then need to run a power line all the way up to that. So if we say power, power conduits all the way to here and then along there and then down to there i mean it's not elegant it's not pretty but it'll do and it gives them something to do oh and look they're all just coming in here and having a chat beryl and colonel are just sat there having a lovely little natter that's brilliant oh and you're talking to the dog again you're talking to michael the dog what are you trying to get michael the dog to do are you training michael the dog in some fashion there you go now he's getting some food what are you doing there? Hang on, let's have a look. Beryl sat near Michael and talked to herself about fighting grasshoppers. She whispered a story. She offered slow, friendly gestures to Michael. And now she's sort of sort of stalking him in a slightly creepy way. Beryl attempted to train Michael. Okay, so that failed, I think it said there. There was an obedience chance and it failed. But at least she's having a go. Okay, that's good. So she's trying to do something and help out with Michael. Okay, that's brilliant. Right, let's move time on nice and fast. Colonel doing some research. Everybody else is getting on with putting in the new heater and stuff, which is great news. I imagine we have some more granite blocks available so we can start working our way up the little hallway. So also, let's get them to do that. Um, oh, there you go. Look, we always just give a breakfast some food as well. Is a breakfast still unwell? Uh, the, the flu, a minor bit of flu minor. That's fine. You'll be absolutely fine. Turning expires in 1.9 days. Yeah, that'll be okay. So now let's go down to uh, here and floors and not sandstone tiles, granite tiles. Now, how many of these have we got? Can we do that? Oh, we can almost get to the end. 144 gets us all the way down there. Do you know what? Yes, let's do that, shall we? Um, is that one in? Yeah, this room's nice and toasty in there now. That's 20 degrees. The little hospital wing is now 19 degrees. In here is 18 degrees, 17, 17, 18, 17, 18. Colonel is sleeping in a room that's 18 degrees C. <laughs> that hasn't happened for a long time. Poor Colonel has had to suffer this cold room down here. But no, now it's all looking good. Well done, everybody. Um, okay, right. They're all asleep. That's absolutely fine. Let's move time on a little bit. In fact, no, let's not do that. Let's queue up. Can I even make any kibble? I don't think I can. Make one kibble and just see if that's doable. But I'm not entirely sure it is. We really, really... Oh, hang on. What's that? That's a dead alpaca. Why is there a dead alpaca just hanging around outside? Well, hanging around. It's, it's obviously died there. But why is it there? That's just asking for us to go grab it, isn't it? We are going to go and grab ourselves an alpaca. Oh, and that's got lovely sort of uh, fur or whatever. I don't know, wool or something. Which means we can make some clothes out of it. We might be able to make another parka, possibly. And it's meat. 
we'll be able to actually have some more fine meals and make some kibble as well. Oh, it is joyous. Uh, right, and also, because it's minus 21 degrees outside, that thing is not deteriorating, I don't think. Deteriorated because of unroofed and outdoors. Uh, but it's, it's fresh and frozen, so it's not spoiling. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Okay, move time on nice and fast. Let's let them all have a good night's sleep. They can wake up and get ready for another busy day. Hercules, the prime counsellor of the Hennu Monistia People's Accord, has sent us a message. He's called Hercules. <laughs> I kind of feel obliged to listen, just because he's called Hercules. He wants to talk with us in a nearby location. Bibbly bobbly boo, we've seen this before 19 days. And yeah, last time, I can't remember who it was with before. There was a peace thing before, and loads of people in the comments went, don't go to that. Either A, it's a trap, or B, your people will die. They will die because they can't get there because you're not going to food and weapons and they're not very well trained. Please don't go there. So I think we're going to ignore that. We're going to ignore that. That can pop up and that's fine. That's the thing that we have to sort of be aware of, but we're not going to go ahead and meet them. Okay, now in order to go and grab this alpaca, we're going to have to fiddle about with somebody's, uh, somebody's uh, permitted areas. So they're all allowed there at the moment. Now, who does hauling? Who does hauling? Either we hours or Colonel. Okay, so we hours or Colonel. Let's get Colonel to go into the home area. Right, Colonel, your job is here. Go and do this, please. Oh, right, you're going to cook some simple meals now, I think. I think you're going to go and cook some simple meals because we've dipped below, we've dipped below 10. You've gone to nine, so you're just going to quickly cook up a little meal of potatoes there. Mmm, delicious. What could you have done with them? Have you boiled them? Have you... Well, that's probably it. You just sort of boiled them. But that's absolutely fine. Right, Beryl running in to get some food. Very nice. Oh, you're going for the fine meal. Do you know what? Fair enough. And Colonel is going to come out here. And Colonel's going to grab that alpaca. Go on, Colonel. Do it nice and quick. There we go. Right, bring it in. Yay, Colonel is back in. Colonel's chopping up the alpaca. That is hopefully a lot of meat. So 57, so what was that? 62 meat. Do you know what? I will take that. That is very, very encouraging. Now also, yeah, we do want to get some kibble in. So yeah, make one kibble as well, please. And in fact, you know what? Let's make two. Let's make two kibble. And then hopefully that should... That should get... Uh, I'm just looking at that up there. Trained tameness. Beryl's amazing. I'm so glad Beryl joined. Beryl is brilliant. <laughs> she's joined and she's training the animals and she's cooking food and she's joining in and she's getting on with everybody. Beryl is, is just fantastic. When is this going to go wrong? When is Beryl going to prove herself to be some sort of horrific traitor who's going to murder us all in our sleep? Please don't do anything bad, Beryl. We all like you. Don't become a traitor. Um, right, let's get this bench thing down that I said I was going to put down and completely forgot. Let's get ourselves the electric tailoring bench. Let's put that there. And then also, let's get the sculptor's table. Let's pop that in. Not enough stored. I don't have enough steel. Oh, that's what steel is. That's limestone. Is that a bit of steel? Yeah, that's a bit of steel just there. Um, I swear it said as well in the last part that bits of a spaceship fell down near us. Although near us is subjective because it's not actually probably that near. But I bet there are spaceship bits somewhere. There, look, there. So there's a ship chunk there. So when the cold snap has gone, whenever that might be, it's almost lasted three days. Three days of struggling around. But when that goes away, eventually, we might nip outside and grab some steel because we are running very low on steel in fact have we got enough to build all these things have we got enough to build all the um power conduits i do not know i'm not entirely sure okay but at the minute everyone is very busy putting down the flooring and taking up the old flooring oh it looks lovely it looks brilliant well done everybody this is looking so good look at this we've almost got it all the way to the end it looks really good we're going to run out of the um bricks eventually I suppose we could try and eventually, when it when it's not grim, go and find ourselves some granite. Although I'm not that bothered. As long as it's got tiles down, I don't really care. We could just have this bit up here as sandstone tiles or something. I'm not really bothered. Um, okay, so everyone finished doing that. Then I would like to get our wooden electric tailoring bench completed. And then maybe we'll set somebody to make something in there. That would be great. If we could make ourselves you know, a nice jumper or something lovely, that would be good. Ah, brilliant. There we go. The other heater is in. So the heater at this end of the room is now active. Oh, and all these rooms are a lovely 21 degrees. We are just doing a little bit of cleaning there. That is lovely. Oh, that's brilliant news. Okay, so it's all good. 
it's all good. We've got some nice, uh, some nice flooring going on over here. That needs a little bit of work. That's absolutely fine. Colonel is doing some, what are you doing? Some more granite stuff. Oh, maybe we will have enough. Maybe we will have enough just to finish off the little corridor area at the top there. That would be nice. In fact, can we do that now? We finished the research for solar panels. Oh my goodness me. Oh, that's brilliant news. That means we can get more power and that might help. If we can build ourselves a solar panel, some people have suggested that we could use some sort of lamp. I don't know where it is. We can use a lamp to allow food to be grown indoors because it acts as a sort of a very strong light source. Because at the minute we can't grow food inside because obviously there's no sun and it will die. So if we can get a solar panel in for extra power, get a few more batteries, then maybe build a little indoor area for food... That would be very good indeed. Okay, right, good. So that's nice. We've done that. That also means we need to pick another thing to research. Okay, well, let's take a look at what could be useful. There's quite a lot I like the sound of. I like the sound of... It's a bit boring. I like the sound of auto doors. I think that sounds great. So the doors just open as you walk toward them rather than you having to actually open them. It's like the future. However, that sounds very useful. Build hydroponics basins to rapidly grow crops indoors regardless of the terrain or weather outside. That sounds brilliant because we can just grow things inside. Let's research that. I was very tempted with getting possibly carpet making because I just like the idea of them having carpeted rooms <laughs> because that makes it feel more homely, surely. Or beer brewing just to make them feel a bit happier because, you know, what? What? it's a good way to unwind. Have a lovely little beer, particularly if you crash land on this planet and all hope is lost. A little beer might go a long way to making them feel slightly less glum. But Let's go for hydroponics first. It'd be really good if we could get that done sooner rather than later. That would be fantastic. Um, okay, right. I think I was going to try and put the flooring down up here, wasn't I? So granite tiles. Oh, we haven't got... Oh, we've only got 16. Oh, no. We've not quite got enough. So there we go. We can do another four. We need another 16. And hang on. Is Colonel putting them down? Colonel might well be putting them down. Hang on. Did we just... Oh, there you go. Another 16. They've just been added into the stockpile. Lovely. Oh, that's brilliant news. So that whole thing is now done. What are we doing for meals? We've got ourselves... The cold snap is over. Oh, praise be. Right, we can go outside again. <laughs> okay, this is good. It's finished. And yeah, it's it's caused us some significant problems. If only it arrived two days later. If only it had arrived a little bit later. We would have got a massive haul of potatoes. Because I think we got about, what, a, not even a quarter of that field. Maybe a fifth of the field gone. You know, and it was in here and we'd eaten them and stored them, whatever. But then I think we were just about getting into the bulk of it. There was a great big bit of uh, plants that were ready. And yeah, it came along and killed them all, which is very unfortunate. Okay, everyone's asleep. That's absolutely fine. Let's get uh, let's get everybody uh, through to the morning. They can have a nice rest, get back up, do some more work, and hopefully get this electric tailoring bench in. Because I still get the thing here saying, yes, we need warm clothes. At least two of our colonists will lack warm clothes. So we need to get that sorted. So when that's done, we'll have a look what we can build. Oh, they're all working very hard up there. Oh, okay. Refugee chased at Pengistown. A conceptual artist, okay, named Mags calls you from nearby. She's been chased by pirates from the demon vampires. The demon vampires are pirates. That's why they're all like shipwrights and sailors and all that kind of stuff, because they are pirates. She begs for safety and offers to join your colony. She tells you she is 21 years old, but there's no time to collect more information. Be warned, if you accept, you'll have to fight off the pirates on her tail. Their group is composed of two drifters. Oh, dearie me. Right, we don't have a lot of luck in the fighting, and it might be just because I am terrible at this. Uh, also, this screams to me trap. This screams to me an absolute trap. A conceptual artist. <laughs> what use am I going to have for one of them? I think this might be a trick. I'm, I'm not really happy with this. I, I'm suspicious. So there's going to be two people, two drifters from the, the demon vampires. They're going to run in and they're chasing after Mags. Mags is saying help. And then they're going to come in. We're going to have to fight them off. I think, I think it's a trap. I think it's a trap. Now, there's probably people there going, no, oh, accept it, it's not a trap. But you know, this is the first time I've played RimWorld. It's the first time I've ever seen this message. And I am thinking that that is a trap. I'm, I'm not happy with that at all. It just says here, be warned, be warned. The clues are here. If you accept, you have to fight off the pirates. Their group is composed of two drifters. Do you know what? Right now, 
I'm going to ignore that. But then what if it's not a trap? <laughs> oh no. Oh, my indecisive nature has come to the fore. The only thing is, we hours can't fight. We hours, she doesn't fight. That's absolutely fine. That's okay. She's she's fine for it. She's got this far. She's a, a good old good old sort of uh, lover of peace and she doesn't want to do any fighting. So it would be down to Kunik, Colonel and Beryl to deal with these people. Now, if there's two of them and we've got three, we could take them on. And it might mean that we could possibly get mags in and we'd have five colonists, which would be brilliant. However, if it's not all that it seems and it is a trap that means we'd have to take on three people that's one one kind of enemy each now colonel's okay i think i think beryl can probably uh, handle herself quite well i think she's got some sort of auto pistol she's got a little proper sort of shooty type gun thing kunik yeah we'll have to hop around and deal with that at the moment because kunik the one-legged kunik she is gonna have to deal with that do you know what i'm I'm going to go against my I'm going to go against what my brain is telling me. I'm going to go with my heart. If she needs help, Mags, a conceptual artist. Good lord knows we could use a conceptual artist round here. This place lacks conceptual art right now. So yes, we all have you. I'm going to offer safety. This could all go horribly wrong. This could be the end of our Rimworld run. Okay, there's Mags. Right, Mags, let's have a look at you. Mags, can we zoom in? Does Mags have red eyes? Possibly Mags is a demon vampire. Um no, look, female colonists of the Cupboarders of Geek. <gasps> so she's running in. It wasn't a trap. Cutting stone blocks from a chunk. So she is running in now. And look, she's joined. <gasps> this is absolutely marvellous. What are you good at? What are you good at? So you're friends with Colonel already. <laughs> Colonel's very, very friendly. Um, Okay, your bio. Yeah, here you go. You're artistic. You're okay at crafting. You're okay at animals as well. You're not very good at anything else, however. You're incapable of caring. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> so you're incapable of caring. Lovely. Um, you're incapable of social. Oh yeah. You just don't. You you just don't talk or anything. You're just too busy conceptually artisting. Um, you don't firefight and you don't haul. However, you're an optimist, so your mood is always up. That's good. You have an annoying voice, but that's fine because you have no social skills so you don't talk to anybody so that's okay and you're a hard worker so your global work speed is 20 percent quicker and you've joined okay right i feel i feel a little bit silly now because maybe maybe that's never a trap now she's gonna run in where are the bad guys where are the bad guys i do not know where they are right hang on is she come in and she's got a list of things here already okay let's also sort this out then let's just go through and just give her some of these things so um yeah, let's put her on, I mean, art. Create beautiful works of art from raw materials. I don't really know what you can do with that. What <laughs> What can you do with that? What were your skills again? What was your thing? You're good at art, animals and crafting. Okay, let's get you then onto crafting of level two. And you can do art of level two. I don't kind of know what that means, but okay. And then you can do handling of animals at two as well. Um, let's not have you doing any hunting unless you really have to because you weren't very good with any kind of weapons. Um, plant cutting. Cut or harvest plants. Yeah, we'll put that as a four. So yeah, if there's nothing else. Let's put it as a three. If there's nothing else to do. Do that. Um, tailoring. Crafting five out of 20. Yeah, do some tailoring. That's quite a good thing. And then cleaning. Yeah, let's leave that as a three. Okay, so Mags is set. Mags has got our priorities done. This is very exciting. We've got another person. Of course, this does mean more mouths to feed, but it means we can get more done. The only thing is, where are the people that are chasing her? Because there's going to be bad guys at some point. Yep, there they are. Right, they're coming in. Okay, Mags, Mags, you get yourself a weapon. We've got a thing here. You're all right at shooting. Go and equip this, Mags. Go and grab that thing. Did a green hand just appear above that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay, where are they coming in from? They're attacking immediately. Let's jump to their location. There's two of them. Hull and Zap. <laughs> Hull the Luddite and Zap the computer. Okay, and they've both got knives. They've both got steel knives. Yeah, you've got an awful quality one. You've got a normal quality one. Okay, right, Mags, you need to run really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> you need to run super, super fast. And we need to find our base. There it is. We need to get into some sort of defensive position around here, ideally. They're going to come in this way. 
So we want kind of Cunic, I would say, here. Right, we need to drag everybody in. Right, okay. Um, uh, what are we called? Commoners of Geek, assemble! Right, Cunic, that way, please. Colonel, you can get drafted in. You can go uh, here. I think that's a good place. Beryl, you can get drafted. You can go over here as well. What have you got? An auto pistol. What does that do? That's got a relatively terrible range. Uh, an ancient pattern blowback operated self-loading pistol. It lacks stock power and range, but is quick to fire. Oh, marvellous. Okay, so maybe Beryl could go just there. Maybe hide around that. Oh, not there then. Just there. Okay, and then Max is going to have to come in and grab a weapon and then go back out. Meanwhile, wee hours. I don't know what you're going to do, wee hours. <laughs> you're just going to sit down at the chess table. <laughs> okay, you keep yourself busy there. Also, that might need to be a medical bed. We might need that to be a medical bed if yeah, we have any kind of luck. <laughs> we hopefully won't need them. But generally when we get into these scraps, it doesn't work. It never works. Right, in comes Mags. Where are the baddies? They're up there. They're already coming in. Okay. Right, she's going to come around the corner. We're going to go, hello, pick up a gun, please. Yeah, it is quite cold out there, isn't it? It's naught degrees. Right, okay. She's picked up a gun. That's a good thing. You need to get back out here and do some fighting, I'm afraid. <laughs> We, we need to fight off the people. We need to fight off the baddies. So you have been drafted. Welcome aboard. Fight for your life. Okay, where are they? Where are the bad guys coming in? Okay, one of them's coming down this way. Oh, where are they going? Okay, these guys are trying to be clever. Uh, hang on. Are they hitting a... <gasps> They're vandalizing our thing. They're hitting our wind turbine. 84%? Are they just... Oh, no, no, no. This this will be a disaster if they do that. Right, everybody, roll out. <laughs> roll out this way. Colonel, come this way. Let's see what happens. Right, Cunic should have a shot there. So fire... I can't, I can't hit the target. Cunic, work your way over here, please. Take you a little while to get there. That's fine. Right, Beryl, fire. Everybody, fire at this person here. Try not to kill each other. That would be great. Okay, right. Lots of shooting going on. Oh, Beryl's taking a bit of a kick in. Beryl, get back out. Back out, Beryl. Back out, Beryl. Right, okay. Fire? Where's a fire? What do you mean there's a fire? They've started a fire on my thing. They're really hurting the wind turbine. You swine bags. Right, we need Cunic to get over there and start taking pot shots at them. Um, in the meantime, Hull is taking some absolute Super damage here. Come on. Come on. Oh, Mags isn't looking very well either. <laughs> okay, we need to hit them a bit more. Mags is taking a bit of a kick in. Come this way, Mags. Come this way. Right, okay. Pirates from the Demon Vampires are fleeing. <gasps> are they running away? I think they're running away. Hang on. Hang on. Let's take a look. Are you running away? It doesn't look like you're running away. That doesn't look like running away to me. Right, Colonel, just there. Mags... And Beryl, you might need to both go and <laughs> go have a rest. Right, Mags, move over that way. And then let's take on Zap. Yeah, oh, look at the, look at the firepower. Cunic, please be careful. <gasps> okay, right. You're dead. So Zap the computer is dead. Hold the Luddite is there. The only thing is, we don't have anywhere to put you. We don't have a, a prisoner room anymore. We had to get rid of it for extra rooms. We need more stuff now. We need more space. Oh dear. Um, okay. Also, I kind of noticed that there is a fire. Maybe somebody could go and sort the fire out. That would be great. Can we go and... Oh, hang on a minute. No, don't go and blow that up. Can we go and sort the fire out? Ah, Colonel is already extinguishing the fire. That's good. Colonel can go and deal with that. What do we do with you? You're in shock due to pain. I don't really feel like I should just go and execute you. Um, can we capture you? The only thing is, yeah, we have nowhere for you to go. Unless we just put you over here. Do we just very quickly throw a bed into that? No, because they need batteries and they'll vandalise the batteries and then they will explode. Uh, yeah, that's probably a bad idea, isn't it? Um, okay, we need to do something. How about then this room here that is currently Beryl's, we remove that, we make that for a prisoner and then we sort of rejig things around because Beryl and... Uh, Mags are going to be in the hospital beds for a little while anyway. So, Beryl, get yourself... Uh, un undo that. Get yourself into there. Mags, <laughs> welcome aboard. I'm sorry you've got shot so much. Go and rest until you are healed. Okay. Uh, Colonel's going to put out the fire. Cunic, 
Can you uh, capture Hull, please? Absolutely. Right, here we go. So <laughs> Kunik has got to sort of lug somebody round on her one leg. But here we go. So Kunik dragging someone very slowly. You two sitting there and going into your uh, hospital beds, which is good. So you two can both recover and the fire is out. Ah, and we're repairing this as well. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, brilliant. Well done, Colonel. Colonel is an absolute star. Well done. Good job. Yeah, I need to figure out how to do a... Um, let's figure out how to make Kunik a wooden leg. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but I do feel for Kunik now. Now that I know she's sort of hopping around, I do feel a bit sorry for her. But this is good news. We've repelled them away. We've got ourselves a couple of little knife things that we can use. That's absolutely fine. Um, right, hang on. Let's just grab... Let's allow that. And allow that, so we can hold that. Also, in terms of this now, everyone can go into all the areas. It's fine. Everyone can go into the... In fact, you know what? Everyone can have uh, unrestricted access. Just go wherever you so wish, because that's fine. We ours and Colonel on the case. You are using the magic... What is that medicine stuff? The magic sparkle medicine, whatever it is. Do you know what? Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. They've been injured. They need medicine. It's all good. A medical emergency... Hull. Ah, yeah, okay, right. I imagine Wee Hours is on the case for that. We Hours is either going to get food or medicine for Hull. But um, yeah, Hull is not well. <laughs> Hull, Hull is very much unwell. Um, also, let's do that. We'll take Hull's clothes. Thank you very much, because they're probably not very nice anyway. They're covered in blood and whatnot. Right, we're going to take something up here, treat Hull with a bit of made-up medicine, but okay, that's fine. And now we're turning all sorts of other wounds. This is brilliant. Oh my goodness me. You you were full of bullet holes. <laughs> you were full of bullet holes. Okay, okay, right. Pause time. Let's just take stock of what's going on. Oh no 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 no. We're we're not going to put the body over here anywhere. We're going to build another grave. <laughs> come on, come on now. Misc grave. Put a little grave just there. I don't want to have them in our food area. That's all sorts of unhygienic and terrible. We can't have that. So we're. Uh, no, let's... Can we can we put them in the grave? No, nope, you're going to put them in the food area. Lovely. Right, well, there we go. Can you dig the grave and then go and put them in it, please? That would also be great. Oh, hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mags, where are you going? Where are you going? Cutting stone blocks from a chunk. You're just going and grabbing this stuff. Okay. Do we want you to be doing that anymore? I, I think you might be a bit injured. <laughs> can, can you go and rest until you're healed? That would be beneficial. That would be great if you could just go and have a little sit down. I know, I, yeah, I understand the, the desire to cut bits of stone from blocks, but maybe do that when you're well and not bleeding everywhere. That would be ideal. And we hours is dealing with the body here of Zap, the computer, who is dead. Farewell, Zap. You came here to try and kill us in the face, and we have killed you in the face instead. There you go. That should teach you all a lesson. Uh, right, okay. And what are you doing, we hours now? What's your job? You're going to feed some a fine meal to mags. Do you know what? Can we adjust that? Can we just give them regular meals in here? How does that work? How does that work? Health. Uh, food restriction. Lavish. Ah, oh, what does this do? Does this, does this help in some way? Yeah, simple. Let's just give them simple meals. It might slow them down, but I don't want to use all our fancy meals on ill people. <laughs> I mean, it sounds really awful, but simple. There we go. So, what have you got? Beryl has got a bruise from a knife and a stab wound from a knife. Whereas poor Mags, poor Mags, hang on, had about a hundred things there. So she's got a crack, she's got a cracked clavicle from a knife. I don't know what clavicle is, but it's cracked, whatever it is, um, from a knife. She's got a knife cuts on her torso, her right shoulder, her right arm, her right kidney. That is probably not brilliant. Hull cut Mags with a knife, tearing her right kidney and torso. And yet she got out of bed and tried to do some work. <laughs> and her right leg as well. Oh dear. Okay, right. We need to make sure that they survive. Hull is here. Uh, yeah, we need someone to clean up the blood as well. We need somebody to clean up the blood. Where is everyone else? Colonel's there. We Hours is there. Where is Kunik? Kunik, where are you? Are oh, you going round here? I wonder what you're doing. You're going for a walk. You're going for a hop. Okay, <laughs> fine. You go for a little stroll, Kunik. That's all fine. Can somebody maybe build this one day? Can somebody ever come and do this? Because it'd be great if we could make you some clothes as well. Oh, look. They're in the hospital wing having a little chat. Are you talking? Yes. You're talking about sweet foods and fine meals and television and stuff. <laughs> That's brilliant. And you're still giving them a fine meal. 
Uh, okay, whatever. I thought I'd change that, but but clearly, clearly picking simple <laughs> isn't good enough. There you go, Mags. Have one of our very few fine meals that remain. There you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, okay. We Hours is attempting to plant some rice. Do you know what? I don't think that's worth doing. I don't think anything is going to grow out here. Surely nothing's going to grow. The growing season is here now. But surely that's going to need more than... We're going to have days 12, 13, 14 and 15. So four days. And then it's going to be winter and they're all going to die again. Is it worth having a little go? I don't think it is. I don't think it's worth spending our time trying to get this done. I note the Colonel has stolen <laughs> stolen Hull's hat. <laughs> I think it's Hull's hat. Okay, that's fine. Right, we hours. Can you do this instead? Um, oh, no. We need some steel. Oh, we really are in trouble without steel, aren't we? Right, hang on. Where was that steel? There was a block of it just there. Can we go and grab that? Can we go and haul that thing, please? And then I wouldn't mind deconstructing that as well. That would be great. Is there anything else? Is there any of the steel that just happens to be, you know, just lying around, just big old chunks of steel lying around the place? Don't think there is, unfortunately. Just a quick sweep around. No. No, there is not. Okay, fine. So I have to break that other thing down, which is okay. Also down here, there's a berry bush. There's berry bushes. There's berries on those bushes. Even though there's been a cold snap and everything kind of died, that's exciting. Yeah, let's harvest that. Let's get ourselves some berries. Are there any other berry bushes near? But there's one right outside the door. Just lean outside. Just, just run out here, do the stuff, and then run back in again. There we go. Any more berry bushes. That's really good. Okay, there's one there. Yep, we'll have that. Harvest that. Thank you very much. Any down here? No, there's one there. There's one there. There's one really nearby. <laughs> this is excellent news. This is excellent. And can we get any medical things from these plants while we're here? Harvest that. Harvest that. Anything else? Any other little medical plant things? Uh, and harvest that one. I don't want to go too far afield because I'm aware it's quite cold. Okay, right. This is, I mean, I was going to say it's all fine. Two of our people are in hospital beds. One of them's had their kidney chopped in half. You know, so it's not all right. And also now there's a great big storm happening, which is presumably going to cause us all sorts of problems. In terms of fire, it is raining. So maybe the rain will put out any fires. It's just that there's a really horrible storm going on. But okay, <laughs> fine. How is Hull? Hull is doing okay. Hull is in intense pain and they witness their ally's death and your friend Zap died. And you are naked. Yeah, that I'll, I'll dress you in a bit. Don't worry. I'll sort that out. It's fine. You can have some some terrible clothes. <laughs> you can have some rubbishy clothes. It's all fine. Um, We could do it. Yeah, I want to get that built now. I want to make clothes for people. What is that noise? What's everyone doing? We ours is... You're going to go and start breaking that thing up. You're... Oh, you're still... Everyone's very determined to get the uh, stone done. <laughs> everyone's very determined. And uh, Colonel's just having a little break. Kind of just having a breather from the uh, the, the action-packed few uh, day or two that they've just had. We could also do with cleaning up. There's quite a lot of blood everywhere. I mean, it's not very encouraging when there's loads of blood around, particularly in your medical wing. Who does uh, who does cleaning? Does Colonel do cleaning? Colonel does do cleaning, but not as a sort of priority. Okay, Colonel goes up there. That's fine. Colonel's just going to have a little sleep. It's all fine. Kunik is going to have a little sleep. Where's wee hours? Are you still trying to break this thing apart? Oh, you're nearly done. There you go. Uh, so that's some components on oh, 30 bits of steel. That could be really useful. Uh, right, but right now, everyone going to bed. Medical emergency? Is Hull still in requirement of this? Um, yeah, they're in quite a lot of pain. Uh, wee hours. Are we able to are we able to go and help? Prioritise cleaning blood. Okay, maybe they don't need anything right now, but Wee Hours is actually on it. The work thing here is set sufficiently, so if something does happen, Wee Hours is going to go and do some doctoring, which is lovely. Hull has gotten sick from an infection. The infection is in her torso. Ensure you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure that Hull gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. Okay, right. Wee Hours, you need to go and tend to your patient. Prioritise tending to Hull. Uh, oh, look, Beryl the chef is back. Oh, this is brilliant news. Beryl the chef is absolutely back and Beryl is hopefully going to go and haul this stuff. Oh, is Beryl going to go and grab this? Where's that chunk of stuff gone? Where is it? Where's the chunk of stuff? I don't know. There's a fire. There's a fire. Everybody, there's a... <clears throat> can we can we maybe pay attention to the fire there? Why is no one putting the fire out? Firefighting is priority number one. <laughs> Would anyone like to deal with the fire? It's creeping slightly too close to our batteries for my liking. Um. Okay, right. Uh, Colonel. Colonel, my old friend there. 
You're not, it's not in the home area. Well, I think we can certainly adjust that momentarily. Hang on, zone, home area. Yeah, let's put that down there like that. Yeah, there's a fire, everybody. <laughs> Colonel, can we go and put the fire out, please? Extinguish the fire really, really, really quickly because it's getting very near to our wooden walls and our batteries that will explode if fire goes on them. So uh, yeah, we need to do that really, really soon. Oh, and there's a medical emergency as well because Hull is very unwell, but we've got to put the fire out first. <laughs> okay, put the fire out, put the fire out. Yeah, there we go. Just, I don't know, just, just bash it a bit. Yeah, there we go. Right, we're slowly putting out the fire. This is all fine. This is all fine. That'll be done soon. Lovely. Oh, there's a bush there. Yay, harvest that. Yay. <laughs> Whilst we're here, we might as well issue a few commands. I wonder what they're chatting about while they're putting out a fire. Facial hair. <laughs> the obvious thing that you talk about when there's a raging fire is you talk about, you know, facial hair. And again, it's all ladies. Beryl is a lady. Mags is a lady. We've just got a load of ladies on, on out on this planet, which is, I like that. It's brilliant. All right, we need to tend to hull. We hours. Are you able to tend to hull, please? Are you able to go and do that? Because that would also be good. Because uh, now Hull does have an infection. <laughs> Hull is very much not well. And can we get that table built? Everyone's just gone back to bed. Oh, because it is four in the morning. <laughs> okay. It says here, Colonel is wearing tattered apparel. Which is making them sad. I think. I think you um you took that off of somebody, didn't you? How can we tell you to not wear it? Drop it. Yeah, this hat. I think it's this terrible hat. Um, Yeah, just, just don't wear the stupid hat. Just don't wear the idiotic hat, for goodness sake. Just take the hat off. Yeah, and then you don't need to worry about it. Just go and put that back in storage. Just allow that. I mean, can we not just dismantle it? Can we not just utterly dismantle the thing? I do not know. Right, can we get this thing built? I'd like to get this thing constructed, if at all possible. We've got a medical emergency. We've got low food. We've got five actual sort of colonies, plus a prisoner to deal with. Ah, now, we have got a little bit of food being topped up there because somebody went and grabbed a berry. I think it's snowing outside. Yeah, it is hard snow. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Where are we gonna get food from? Where are we gonna get any kind of food from? Given that we have to keep Hull, I should have just possibly just left Hull out there. But then what kind of person would that make me? If I leave another human being out there to die, that makes me a terrible person. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Moral quandaries abound. Right, let's try and get this thing constricted. Colonel. Are you able to build this? Your construction skill is too low. Okay, fine. We hours. Are you able to build that? You were still out of steel. How much steel did we need? We need, oh, 50 steel. Okay. Ouch. Now, the only thing is, I should have kept the other one. Because how much is the other one going to take if we put production on? If we say a hand tailor bench? Oh, it's just wood. It was just 75 wood. Oh, okay. Do you know what? Let's put that back in. Let's pop that over. Can we put that there? Switch it round a bit. Yeah, let's put that there. And then that can be, that can go back. We can have a tailor bench back in there. Meanwhile, do some frantic researching. Do some frantic researching of things. Kunik is just outside, hopping around, trying to do some harvesting. Um, okay, let's keep an eye on Kunik. You're hopefully still relatively healthy. You're doing some harvesting of things. I'm a little bit worried about you. I'm a little bit concerned about your mental state here, Kunik, because this could possibly kill you. It's really cold out. Oh no, it's like three degrees now. It's it's positively boiling out there at the minute. And we've got one of these benches back. Okay, ah. And we might have a load of steel available as well. And we've got some berries to make some food. Oh, this is going fantastically well. And some more stone. Hang on. Are you still just all making stuff? Are you still, are you still going out and just grabbing all the nearby granite? There's loads of it just here. Can we just... Haul, haul all the things. That will be great. Haul all the granite into here, and then we don't have to worry about going all the way down here to grab it, because there'll be some in our, in our storage area. Yay! Now, someone in the comments said that dusters were pretty good. I don't know genuinely what a duster is. To me, a duster is a little bit of cloth that you'd use to dust your tables. You know, you'd use it with some polish. You'd spray the polish on, you'd use the duster to rub the dust off. So I'm not entirely sure what a duster is in terms of clothing. I'm going to guess it's a coat of some description because the person in the comments, I, I can't remember anyone's names, I can't remember who said it, but um, they did say that that was pretty good. I don't think we can make a parka. I don't think we have sufficient materials to do so. I think we're probably out of materials. Let's put Colonel on and do that. Yeah, we need a material to make a parka. It'd be lovely if we could. So how about then, what do we need to make a duster? 
Still 80 ingredients. Can we make a duster? I don't know. Let's put that as number one. Colonel, can we do that? Can I make Parker need material? I don't want to make a Parker. Didn't I just reorganise the um, priorities in that? Um, yeah. Okay. Delete make Parker. I don't want to do that. Colonel, click on you. Can you go here and make a duster? That needs material as well. What material do we need? We've got so much stuff. So many things. Um, okay. What else can we make then? Pause time for a second. Uh, a cowboy hat does sound fun. A duke is the little, sort of, the nice little hats. I suppose we could all do with having a, a little hat. That's probably not a bad thing. We just made ourselves like four hats. How much does a jacket need? 70 ingredients to have a jacket. Have we got 70 ingredients? Get rid of a duster. Have we got that many ingredients? Yes. Okay. The only thing is, are we building this? Can we prioritise working on that? Your construction skill is too low. Kunik, can you do that? Yours is too low as well. Um, we hours is going to come up here. Right, we hours. Bring that in. Oh, you're doing some medical stuff. Oh, absolutely fine. Yeah, you crack on and do that. Oh, yeah, Beryl hasn't got a bed anymore. Of course. Sorry, Beryl. We'll sort that out next time. We're struggling a little bit. <laughs> We're struggling for uh, everything. For food. Oh, we've only got one simple meal. <laughs> this, this, this is bad. This is very bad. I note that there's two muffalo just here. Two lovely nearby muffalo. <laughs> <laughs> who we keep giving food to, and we're not getting anything from these. We're not getting anything from these. They've got some wool, and you've got some wool indeed, actually. That's a good point. You've got some wool. Maybe we could use that eventually. But that's growing relatively slowly at the minute. Um, yeah, I'd like I'd like to get the electric thing in. If we get the electric thing in, a wee hours has taken the last of the food. Oh, and Mags, <laughs> Mags is probably there going, I'm really hungry. Can I please have a snack? They're like, uh, no, sorry, <laughs> bye bye. But Mags is, what's Mags doing? You're getting some fabric. Oh, you're making the thing. Oh well, well done you. That shows some good initiative. Well done, Mags. I like that. So Mags is doing that. Beryl's sleeping on the floor. Uh, we hours is just hanging around Colonel's bedroom for some obscure reason. Hull is probably not very well. Uh, let's look at prisoner. Let's put reduce resistance. I don't have much in the way of resistance. Um. But yeah, we, we really do need some sort of food. We do need some food. And I don't think that's going to have grown any. 11% grown in one day. That's not going to be anywhere near grown. Um, okay, right. Berries it is then. Let's find all the berries we can. Lovely. And you know what? With that, I think let's call it apart for now. And it's gone from looking kind of promising to looking somewhat dicey right now. We've got no food. There is no food at all. Zero food. We haven't had anything less than, say, 10 food for absolutely ages. Because there's always been a little pile of the um, of the simple meals just sitting there. But we've burnt through the fine meals. We've burnt through the simple meals. And uh, yeah, it's becoming a bit desperate now. We really, really do need this hydroponics research done. We need that done. And then it's what we need to build hydroponics. Because who knows what we need to actually put a hydroponics, I don't know, plantation, bay, I don't know what it is, a hydroponics thing in. We probably need loads of steel. And we don't have loads of steel. We're lacking in steel quite considerably to the point where you know, we only just uh, got this thing constricted, I think. We've only just got enough steel to get this thing in. But then, I mean, if we need a hydroponics thing, do we just dismantle this wooden electric tailor bench and then come back and maybe build it later on? Because yeah, food is probably a little bit more important. Have we got enough components? I don't know. Maybe it'll say we need 60 components. We've only got 50, so I have to go and find some components from somewhere. I don't know. But even then, we've got to get to the point where it's researched. That could take a long time. We're on 266 out of 700. So we're not even near halfway. We're not even near halfway. So um, we're going to have to do something for food. Now, I I'm acutely aware that these are our muffalo. I don't really want to kill them. I don't really want to kill our named people. <laughs> a Brexus and Sasquatch, I don't think we should kill. I do notice there is a mega sloth just there. There is a healthy female mega sloth, age five, just sort of sitting there. I wonder if, when everyone's awake in the morning, if that thing is still lurking around, we could go in and maybe, maybe get that and get that and turn it into some food. We've queued up loads of berries, so maybe we could mix berries with, with the, the sloth meat to make, <laughs> who knows, who knows what that would make, to make a delicious meal. I don't know how delicious that would be, but, um, but yeah, maybe that's what we'll do because we just desperately need food. We're going to have to go hunting. 
and that looks like our next course of action. These things up here as well. Is there a lot of meat on a boomalope? I've got no idea, but do you know what? I bet we'll find out next time as well, because I imagine we're going to get a bit desperate until the hydroponic stuff is all researched. But uh, yeah, come back next time, see how we get on. I, I, we've done very well. We've done very well. We've got another person as well. We've got mags. We've got extra person. So from having three people for so long, we got Beryl last time out. Today we've got Mags. So it's all looking very good in terms of that. It's just the food that's the issue. So uh, yes, will we survive? I do not know. I will try my very best to keep us all alive. But yeah, it's a good point to stop for now. Hopefully you're still enjoying this. I really hope you're enjoying this. I'm having a fun time with RimWorld. I'm amazed that it's taken me this long to get around to it. But yeah, I'm having a fun time. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be splendid. And also please do subscribe if you are not already in order to keep up to date with how we get on here in RimWorld. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered, and I will see you next time. Let's throw that at you. That might get you. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's hard. But this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water, please? This is this is this is the best box. This is my favourite box of the game so far. Oh no, 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 no. It, it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations. Who's examining who?